Hi everybody, it's Mom and Dee. Welcome back to my channel, Mom and Dee Reacts. And Big Little Lies Season 2 is here. So this is Episode 1, and the last uh, uh, season ended with um, um, the girls were at that uh, school function, the trivia night, and um, Nicole Kidman's character, her uh, husband that beats on her, uh, they were into it before they left the house and when they got there um, he followed her down to these steps that were leading to a little area and then some more steps and um, she was down there with uh, uh, Reese Witherspoon and the other girls and then he started he said come on you're going with me and she wouldn't do it and he started whooping up on her right there in front of everybody so next thing you know uh, Zoe Kravitz I believe is her name who plays um, um, one of the girls, she come running down there and she just shoved him and he went flying down the steps and he died. So now we know it was him and uh, that's Nicole Kidman's husband and we're, um, that was good because he was a butthole. But now um, they all lied, didn't tell the truth. They said he slipped and fell. So let's start from there, and we'll see what kind of trouble they're going to get into today. This is a good series. I really like it. And you could tell at the end of that, when he came down the steps towards Nicole Kidman, you could tell Jane Chapman knew right then that he was the one that raped her. That's another aspect that happened last season. So Nicole Kidman was looking over, and she could tell by the look on Jane's face that she knew that was her, the rapist and the father of her baby, finally. So that's another aspect of this. Celeste. 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 Oh my god. I just I was having a nightmare. Well, shouldn't they be awake? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Josh, Max. Up we go. We overslept. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. We're come in a rush. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Grandma. Protein bar breakfast in the car. <sighs> Your favorite. I have to go to town. I can drop you off. Oh. Thanks, Mary Louise. <sighs> what was it about? A nightmare. Oh, it was stupid. Nothing, really. You said rape. Oh. What? Something about a rape. Well, they got a new apartment in there. Okay. okay, I'm putting this in your small pocket, okay? Yep. First day of school! Hey, hey, boys, come on, keep it down, would you? I can't hear myself. You just don't think, Mom. Fine young men don't suddenly become fine young men all of a sudden in a whoosh, you know. <clears throat> it starts with being fine young boys. And part of being a fine young boy is listening and respecting your mother. She works so hard for you. That's why the sun shines on her so. Thank you, Mary. That must be his mom. I have mom. two Come showings. I'm Abigail's college advisor, not to mention all the scrutiny. It's just going to be a day. What scrutiny? Ed, this is the first day of school. We have to earn our good mom badges all over again. Are you two fighting? Uh, no, actually. I almost wish we were. No, she's, she's been acting like that for a while now. Acting like what? Shut down. 
like withdrawn. Oh, you mean you're not having sex? Okay, don't forget that Abigail has her college counselor. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got your emails. Six of them this morning. It's good. Thank this you. This is her future, Nathan. Nice to be back. I'm told that my daughter Amabella is going to be in your class. So exciting. Yes, very nice to meet you. Um, she has an IQ of 152. Genius level, right? That's oh my a very God. high number. Life's about give and take. I expect you to take care of my daughter. A special attention. And again, welcome. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and my Bella was bullied last year. I mean, in like biting and choking. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen again. <laughs> oh my God, the poor guy. Mary Louise? Hi, Madeline. Madeline. Yes. So nice to see I'm you. I'm Celeste's friend. Yes. How have you been? Good, good. The kids are good. How are you? I can't complain. Actually, I can. My son is dead. But Celeste tells me that you continue to be so helpful with her and the boys, and she should just get a proper housekeeper. You're very short. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't mean it in a negative way. Oh. Maybe I do. Uh. I find little people to be untrustworthy. You <laughs> My bitch. Apologies. It's just that I'm, I want to know what happened that night. And I, I'm very tempted to ask you, but I doubt I would get the, uh, the truth when I... Your son lost his balance and he fell. Yes, that seems to be the company line. Depending on whose company you keep. Are you getting out? You no. Seeing anyone? No. That part of me still did, I suppose. First things first, get the boys' lives back on track. That's the priority. Seeing your mom happy could help there. So you're saying for my life to go unsuccessfully, I need to be with a man. You're still married, Celeste, and the husband is dead. This way, or I'm so tired of those shots of women. I mean, they're in power, right? They own banks and they're all like, you know, it's bullshit. Mayor Louise? Hey, oh, Madeline, hello. What's going on? Well, I thought I might look for a small flat here in town so that I can help out with the boys, but not be quite so underfoot. <clears throat> oh, I see. Do you work here? Yes. Do you handle rentals? I do, actually. Orin and I both do. Yes. I see you're wearing heels. Yes. Um, Oren, do you mind if I just have a minute with Mrs. Wright? Of course not. Mary Louise, I realize that you're still grieving and that you've been through a tremendous amount of heartbreak. But I don't care for the way you spoke to me before. It was rude, and I didn't deserve it. No, you didn't. Um, I apologize. Well, thank you. Truth is, it had nothing to do with you. When I was in boarding school, I, ha I had a best friend, or so I thought, who uh, revealed herself to be quite treacherous and uh, caused me a lot of pain. So she was just an itty bitty little thing with a big, bubbly personality that um, was designed to hide. She was utterly vapid inside. You remind me so much of her. I oh my gosh! That. That's wrong of me, and I apologize. That was not an apology. Oren. I'm sure Oren will address all of your concerns. Okay. Where did we leave it? Mmm, <laughs> boy, is she a hag. You probably don't want to act weird and shit in public. We do a lot of kids' events at the aquarium, and parents have a thing about trusting their kids to say. Noted. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> the way people talk in this town, I don't need to tell you. You don't need to tell me? What does that mean? You're one of the Monterey Five, right? 
Monterey Five? You were there the night the guy fell. But where did you hear that? Someone at work. I'll see you around. Wow. Yeah. It was just the way he said it. How exactly was that? Like we all have scarlet letters on our backs. Please. We're kidding ourselves if we think people will stop talking. Yeah, but people talk. It's... I think we're all being a little bit paranoid, you guys. I think people have moved on, and the police have definitely moved on. Well, we don't know yeah. that for sure. No, I talked to Susie Burke. Do you know Susie from IBM? Yeah. She's a good friend of Detective Quinlan. Oh. I mean, like, apparently a good friend. Oh. Gossip for another day. But she told me that you heard Quinlan say, like, the case isn't closed, closed, but they've got nothing. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. We're good. Okay. Yeah. Dang. Can't you just tell her it's time to go? The boys love her. I mean, they love her. And she's... She's a big help. She really is. So what's up? I'm guessing you don't need my help on how to handle mother-in-law. Why are you not cashing the checks? <sighs> Come on, Jane. Why? It's right money. You know I can't do that. Ziggy's entitled to it. He's part of Perry's estate. Do you ever hate me? Just a little bit. How could you hate her? It wasn't her fault. How could I hate you? Thank you. Because I slept with your husband. No, you got raped by I mean, I didn't. You know what I mean? He raped you. Thank you. But I knew he was married. I mean, I didn't know he was married to you, but somebody. No, I don't blame you for anything. I think I would if I were in your shoes. So let's forbid well, I... adultery. He, there, there has to be another woman in. You know what? More times than not, she's complicit. I was complicit. Not in the end, but definitely in the beginning. I'm glad that he's dead. It's complicated. Yeah. Sharks would have eaten, stupid. No, they wouldn't, idiot. Hey, hey, you could hurt him. What's wrong with you? I really touched him. You stuck him with a fork, Josh. That is unacceptable. For God's sake. I missed Dad. I know, baby. I know you do. We all do. Most of us in recovery had a risk. Well, a grieving, Celeste. Your father's death is not <clears throat> something to be recovered from, like a cold. You know, your daddy was the most amazing man, and you were so lucky to have him. And it's very unfair and wrong that he died. And you still feel angry about it, don't you? You feel angry that the other kids have their dad. You don't. You know, the other day, I was with some friends, and um, their sons were not a patch on your dad. Not a patch. Just, I felt so angry. Angry! You know, that they're mediocre, second-rate, pudgy, balding, middle management sons. Still alive. She and is a bitch. Perry. My Perry. I just stopped him. I just wanted to scream. So you know what I did? What? I did scream. Want to hear? Okay. You didn't live with the bastard. You don't?
I'm sorry. I feel so, so alone, you know. Oh, I think she's going to end up confessing. We were like animals. We, we had to save her. We, it was like every instinct inside of me told me that she was, he was going to kill her if we didn't help her. And um, I thought he was going to crush her or kick her ribs in her. I didn't know what he was going to do, and then he, um, Renata or me, uh, we grabbed him, and then, um, then he grabbed Jane by the neck. Yeah, um. <sighs> Sorry. In your own time, take a good look. Ooh. No! Fucking no! 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 Are you all right? Yes. Are you all right? Are you all right, dear? No nightmare. Yes. It's all right. It's all right. Sorry. It's all right. So, who are we planning to kill? Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, she said something in her sleep again. Oh, this is not going to end well. They should have just been honest and said that, you know, the girl, she should have, Bonnie should have just been honest and said, I pushed him because he was going to kill her. I just pushed him out of the way, and I didn't realize he was standing by the steps. I mean, it could have been over. Now they're all going to be in conspiracy to, you know, to prevent evidence and, I don't know. It is a hot mess. So we will see the next episode what happens. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.